Are you in a place in your life where you're saying, John, I know there's power in prayer. I understand that I need to pray. I need to talk with God. But John, the problem is I'm so full of my challenges. The mountains in my life are so tremendous and I don't have the strength to pray. I don't have what it takes, John. I'm not able to utter any words, John. I'm so desperate for God to make a move. I don't know what I'm going to pray and I don't have words in my mouth and I just don't have the strength to pray. Well, if that describes you, you'll come to the right place. And I encourage you to stay tuned for the next couple of minutes because this word will be a great encouragement for you as well. How to pray when you don't have the strength to pray. And that is when you realize that prayer is not a ritual. That is when you realize that God is not a mad God. God is not an angry figure. God is not a person who is filled with rule books and saying, I will pr answer your prayers or I will meet your needs or I will do this or do that in, my, in your life or bless you or protect you or watch over you or whatever. Only if you pray by my formula. That's when you realize that God is your dad. That's when you realize that, you know, it's all about the heart connector between you and your creator. When you understand that God is your dad, you are open before him. When you understand God is your dad, you talk to him. And if you can't talk, what do you do? Pour out. The other day, I was feeling so overwhelmed about something and I just started crying. And uh, I, I, um, I mean, like, at, at, it was just at home and my dad was like, what is it? I want to help you. Tell me what is it? And I just couldn't tell him. I was just overwhelmed and I started crying. He was not like, you're, you're stupid for crying. <laughs> no. You know, what I'm trying to tell you is if, you're, if you can just cry out to an earthly dad, cry out to your heavenly dad. Just cry. You want to cry? Cry. That's what I shared even in one of my recent segments also about how you see in 1 Samuel, Hannah was not just praying. The Bible says that she cried. When you look at even uh, uh, 2 Kings chapter 20, when Hezekiah got the word that he was about to die, the Bible says he prayed and he wept. He wept bitterly. I'm telling you something, dear saints of God. You want to cry? Cry. But people are like, I need to be strong. No, just because you cry doesn't mean that you're not strong in your faith. Just because you're trained to be a soldier doesn't mean you'll never get tired. There will be bat battle fatigues. There will be moments when you grow weary. There will be moments when you're tired and exhausted. What do you do during such times? I want to tell you something that I do and that's from the scripture. When you look at Exodus Chapter uh, 2, verse 24, and then I'll come to the next verse. It says, God heard their groaning, and he remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. God heard their groaning. Now, I want to say this again. When you look at Exodus chapter 6, verse 5, where God is giving this word. I have heard their groaning. I have heard the groaning of the Israelites whom the Egyptians are enslaving. And I have remembered my covenant. And when you have to remember something. They didn't have the strength to pray. But you realize that their groan moved God's throne. Your groan will move God's throne. You don't have strength to pray, just groan. <sighs> That's a prayer in itself. <sighs> I know some of us are in a place where they're like, oh, come on, you know, I don't understand that. That's what the Bible says. That God heard their groan and he came here because he wanted to rescue them. Don't have strength to pray, just groan. 
just groan. And I'm telling you, dear saints of God, that's the beauty of our God. He's not expecting you to go by a rule book. He's not expecting you to follow all the formula. He's expecting you to just be yourself before him. If you feel like crying, cry. You feel like groaning, groan. And I'm telling you, when you just groan, you're releasing that. And you will see the sigh of relief. You know why? Because that's a prayer in itself. There's a difference. Simply crying is not going to solve it, right? Like you cry to the Lord. Same way you just groan to the Lord. And I'm telling you, you will see that strength. You will see. Because when you pray, God will hear. And God will strengthen you. God will help you. God will show up in your life. You will see an output when you pray. And that prayer includes when you pray a grown male. Today, my challenge is when you don't have strength, don't pressure yourself to just put words. Don't get into more mental blocks because of that. If you can groan, remember, just groan into the Lord. Just groan. I want you to do that as I'm telling you. Because you see, you're releasing and you're just praying to the Lord. And when you groan, you're moving God's throne. And your life will never be the same for the better. God, I pray that this word will go forth and strengthen those who are weak. They don't have strength to pray, God. They don't have strength. When they don't have strength, oh Lord, I pray that you will show forth. And you will hear their groan. Like you heard the groan of the Israelites in the book of Exodus. You will hear the groan of your people. You will come out. Those who are crying and weeping, I pray that you will turn their sorrow into joy. That they will see the God who answers prayers. That the prayers will avail much because they are the righteousness of God in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, I hope you were blessed by this video and I really encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more such content which will bless you, edify you and help you live the life that God has for you as well. I also encourage you to check out my daily podcast, Fuel for the Soul with John Gifta. By the grace of God, it's been trending across the globe, making an impact for the kingdom of God. To check out my books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose, which became a number one new release on Amazon. To stay plugged in through a social media for regular inspirations on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. To check out the weekly podcast where my messages get dubbed into Tamil. You can get more details at www.johngifter.com. And also, if you have been blessed by this ministry and you would like more people to be blessed by the ministry. I encourage you to support us financially. If you're in India, you can support us through Google Pay or net banking. Or if you're anywhere around the world, you can support us through PayPal. And all the details are in the description. And I hope you were blessed and you would stay plugged in. And I will see you back next time. God bless you.